Hey, it's me, TB, and today I am bringing to you my bookshelf tour. This is, of course, a little introduction video. No idea how, like, how in-depth I'm going to go with this, so I guess you're going to find out. I have, I think, around 300 books, which sounds really bad when I say it out loud, um, especially since I'm going to go shopping later, but we're not going to talk about that right now. So yeah, the only books you probably won't see are the ones I have for a secret TBR that's coming out. It's supposed to be happening this month, but... I have not gotten to it yet, so who knows. Um, we'll probably hit around mid to late May actually now, now that I'm like talking about it. So I guess now's the time to go. I'll go ahead and show you the, the three books you probably won't see because they're off on my, like, they're on the table by my bed. So that is a very short introduction to American political history, is exactly what it sounds like. A Cotta Witch by Nadia Corafor, which I'm loving, but I have to read it for a class, so I can't like finish it all, you know? And then there's War and Peace, which you've all seen. So yeah, now on to everything else that is around me. I have not filmed one of these in like forever, so it'll probably be a little bit tragic at first, so just forgive me, you know? You know, first we have my um, Shadowhunters books. I haven't read these yet, so don't get excited. Basically planning on doing a, re a reading vlog for this. So yeah, there's that. And then you basically have vampires here and classics. These two and mongrels and in the vampire diaries too, I guess, are part of my like 21 books to read in 2021. So yeah, there's that. And then below that, I have basically other books on my 21 books to read list, as well as two LJ Smith like um, bind ups. Then in the middle, I have more books on my 20 21 books list. I have most of the Witcher series because the first book is on my red shelf. Because I guess if you didn't know this, um, the bookshelf behind me, which you see in, like all my videos, which like that one too, um, is all the books I have not read that I own. So yeah, there's a lot. Let's not, let's not talk about it. And then below this, I think these are all the other books that are on my 21 books to read in 21 books to read in 2021 list. So yeah. And yeah, when I do videos, I like sit on a little blanket because my butt hurts. So yeah. Then I have all this behind me, which, you, which you've probably seen on my videos, but I'm um, here it is again. We have short story collections, um, poetry, and yeah, just assorted books, I guess. No real, no real like order to them here. And then this shelf is the, um, you are on Big Twitter, then you saw like you had this thing at the start of the year where basically you had your followers send you numbers and, they, and that correlated to like books you had that you haven't read yet. And these are all, these are all like 10 of mine, I think, because you see someone gave me a number, but it was like volume three. So I just added the other two anyway, because like, why not? I guess, because I hate myself, I guess. Who knows? And then I don't think you ever see this, you ever see this one because that's where my back is. But here's this, um, classics, short story collections. Um, yeah, that's about it really. And then this is basically just all the books I have to read for class. Um, yeah, it's all very dusty. Let's not talk about it, okay? And then at the very right bottom, we have more classics, Shocker, and even more classics over here. Um, but listen, mostly because they're all, like, very thick. I don't want to, like, I guess fuck up my shelves by having, like, heavy big books on them. So, yeah. Um, and then, so, like, all my mass market books are, like, smaller size-ish. So, yeah, there's that. And then I have all these, which is basically just more, like, assorted books. No real, no real reason for them to be all here. They're here, I guess. Yeah, classics mass market paperbacks. There's this completed series I need to get to because I really like the first book. I haven't read like the sequel and the third book yet. I need to like reread this one because I read it in like 2019. So yeah, it's the whole thing. Then I have even more classics, um, you know, Penguin all, and all that stuff. Another like a sort of shelf that's basically packed to the brim because I have problems, um, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about that. And now my top shelves. These are the first two picks for my queer all year book club that I'm doing. So you can, you should join that. And then I have just other series, books I need to get to. Yeah, not, lots, not a lot to say here, I guess, you know. And then we have the last two Throne of, Throne of Glass books because I'm like in the, middle, in the middle of that series right now. Um, and yeah, just like more series and stuff I need to get to because I have problems. We all, we all know this by now. Now for my other shelves, which are like double stacked right now. So ignore that. I'm gonna have to like move all this shit later. So top shelf to basically like my bookish merch shelf, I guess. I won this print in a giveaway. That's pretty cool. Then my print from the Illumicrate Puppy War trilogy. So behind this is like more books. So there's that. And behind this are my other copies of the Puppy War and other like books. I should probably unhaul some of these, but anyway. And then there is my Tribe series, which I love, which, which no one talks about. More classics, my fancy edition of Dracula. So layer one here, we basically like assorted stuff. I need to unhaul this because I had it for a class, but the class is over now. So, you know, Jacoby, which I loved. Um, more classics. 
earthy, which I kind of, which I kind of DNF'd, but anyway, no reason to talk about that. Um, the conductors, which I loved and no one talked about, but whatever. I have the Vampire Academy series, which I'm almost done with, but I have like one last book to go. Winter Counts, uh, Girl, Woman, Other, and then Such Times in hardcover because I want it in like a, like I got it in like a box of books basically. So yeah, there's that. And now I will move all this. The entire Twilight Saga, the Kyoshi books, the David Bad Trilogy, the Finishing, the Finishing School series, um, which, you know, I liked, I like all of these, so I'm a little bit biased, but anyway, then I have more classics, my fancy editions of Jane Austen books, Conjure Woman, which are also very underrated when it came out, but anyway, then on the shelf below we have more assorted books, a few of these I read for my Reading Black Classics vlog I did, we have the most of the Throne of Glass series over here, we have the first three Mortal Instruments books, um, how to Read Death for Class, Black Classics, Rage of Dragons, Black Classics, Red for Class, Mortal, Mortal Instruments, all that. Then I have the entire Night World series, um, I like Fire, Mirror Charm, uh, the more sorted books basically, a few non-fiction things over here, um, the entire Dragori series, both the books I own by Nala Hopkinson, which I loved, the Inugami Curse, which I loved, and now here's this shelf, here's that first Witcher book that wasn't on the, wasn't with the others, my two copies of Mexican Gothic and Ark, The Complete Persepolis, which I loved, more non-fiction stuff, more classics, my signed copy of The Boy from the Mish, The Great Gatsby, which I read for the first time recently, my three signed um, Crave series books, and I have the complete Percy Jackson series, like the first arc of it, I guess, The Vampire Diaries in paperback, the two Mighty Muskrat books, which you didn't see over here, but I have the third one too, that, that just came out. So that's pretty cool. And I have the entire Fallen series, even the really shitty last book, because I'm a completionist, I guess. Even though the spines don't match, which I fucking hate, which is why I hide it. But anyway, they're here and I love them. More, more nonfiction um, and more classic and st classics and stuff. Then here I have my first two books of, of the Crave series that I got before I got them all signed. So I'm going to move those. Um, these are just textbooks that I haven't gotten rid of yet. And then... Here's more um, hardcore books that I haven't been able to fit anywhere else. I still like them all. They're just here because there's the only place I had for them. So there's that. Then I have my entire Ellen Hopkins collection because I love her. I haven't read anything from her, like any of her new stuff recently. These are basically what my Puppy War books came in. Um, you fancy little like book book jackets, I guess. Please fuck knows. And in them, I have my hardcovers of the of the Vampire Diaries because. The like dust jacket is like really is like really thin for whatever reason, so I don't want to like get them all fucked up. So I use those to like store them. So yeah, <laughs> I think that's all the books I own. So yeah, and that was my bookshelf tour. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, like, share, all that. Hopefully, I will see you next week.